My mother-in-law, who's a retired um, Lawton Public Schools teacher, she was teaching at Almer West at the time, she suggested I substitute for some extra cash, and I did. Um, and then I just, I mean, that just seemed to fit. I mean, it, it just, it fit. It was like I was coming home. I couldn't help but get into teaching because my father, he was a science middle school teacher. And so my whole life growing up, every summer we're going on field trips, we're going to Beaver's Bend, on the weekends we're doing canned food drive. I've wanted to be a teacher since fourth grade because I had an awesome fourth grade teacher um, who understood I was having some problems that year and, and she really understood. and. Um, taught me things in a way that I could learn them, so I wanted to do the same thing. There were some good teachers, but I did have some kind of bad experiences, so I thought, I think I want to, you know, make a difference and change something or maybe see something in, you know, some students' lives. Well, I began teaching because of my father. My father, as I grew up, that's all he ever talked about that he wanted us to become. He believed that teaching was a respected, profession. At the end of the day when I had to make that choice that it was pretty easy for me. I thought that I could make the same difference that people had made for me. My mother used to go to uh, ESL classes and she uh, always needed help with um, help with her little workbook assignments that she had and at that time I used to play teacher. This was whenever I was a very young kid. I was a little kid and I used to play teacher with her and me and my other two sisters would kind of fuss about who was going to play teacher for mom. All of a sudden seeing that it's it's made a difference or seeing them you know with a light bulb that, that sort of comes to them and thinking um, you know I can do this or, or challenging them I really like to challenge the kids and then you know I expect a lot from them but then when they succeed or if they and even the small successes once I see they get it I mean it just it, it makes my day the best thing for me is when they come back I'm t I might be in the middle of teaching a class and I see the little window of my door some I have someone knocking on the window of my door I go over and open it and it's a student I may have had last year or a student I may have had six years ago and they're there to tell me Miss Keller I'm so happy how you taught me to write I knew how to write when I got to comp one or you gave me the confidence I needed so it's their success you succeed the, you see them succeed and that gives me the joy that I want to have in teaching the kids when you've been teaching something and maybe you have a few who are not understanding it yet and you can present it in a way that they can understand it and all of a sudden you'll hear I got or I understand what we're doing now and that's definitely the best part of being a teacher. Seeing them get something whether it's uh, something to do with a, a story or um, figurative language and understand it and feel good about it. I always tell them knowledge is power and they feel good when they know something that makes me feel proud. The best part about being a teacher is the children that I meet, the students that I meet. Um, the best part is when they come back later and you see what they've become and you see that there was a small impact, maybe a larger impact, but even a small one that you might have had on their lives. The love I get from those kids, I love those kids to death. Uh, you know, I tell them all the time, they're my kids. I, I have three children at home and 220 children during the day. and. Um, uh, the best part, uh, there's so many rewards. The bonding that we get with these kids, you know, a lot of them have never had, you know, love and touch and things like that. And so when they come in in the mornings and they just run straight to me and give me those hugs to me, that's just, it just starts my whole day just, just on a positive note. She's a great teacher. She's always like pushing us to be our best because like most teachers, they won't really push you because some teachers don't have that bond. But me and Thomas, me and Miss Thomas, have a great bond. So, tell me about that bond. What is the the big bond you guys have together? Well, I can come to her with anything, and I can get a lot of help from her when I need it. She's wonderful. I love having her as my AP teacher this year. She gives me so much confidence whenever she reads over my writing, and she understands. Like I might have trouble sometimes, but she gives me like that boost of confidence that I need to continue and to fix anything that I need to and she's just I feel so prepared for my AP test and for college she lets me be independent with stuff and I'm just really excited I love having her as a teacher. She's fair she treats everybody the same um, she's fun um, supportive 
What's the best part about her as a teacher? When she teaches us, teaches us. She is one of my favorite teachers that I've ever had. And why is that? Because she explains things like perfectly. Like I feel connected. Like when she talks, I feel like zoned in. Ms. Hardy is a great teacher. She is a reading teacher. I think she's one of the best reading teachers I've ever had because she makes reading fun. She really makes it interactive and really gets down like to the point and explains the stuff. She's really good and she's never just good. She's excellent. She's never boring and she's she's so fun and I love going to PE and that's my favorite subject to go to. And um I really like her and her personality and she's very sweet and she's just always um, looking for new games or getting new equipment. She's a good teacher and she helps us learn alphabets, numbers, and by tens and twenties. Mm -hmm.